Alright. So, I'm not going to act like this isn't maybe the fourth or fifth time that I've made an attempt to record this video, but let's see how it goes. Hello. I'm Liv. Nice to meet you. So uh, I figured you get to know me, I get to know you, and maybe this could be a thing. Or maybe I'm just talking to myself all the time and recording it and deleting it and that's just my thing now so yeah maybe this is just for me to use I'm just rambling for myself which is okay it's really hard to uh, be okay with being comfortable with yourself and I'm just I'm just learning more and more each day that um, I'm very comfortable with myself I mean don't get me wrong I I have my flaws I have things that I worry about but I thoroughly genuinely really enjoy my alone time and it took a long time for me to be okay with that even though I have been kind of alone my whole life in a way I'll get to it eventually <laughs> and uh I feel like I've always been afraid to be alone with myself because I am an overthinker, I have OCD, I have anxiety, I have depression, trauma, but I guess we all do in one way or another. I just, uh, I used to be afraid of being alone with my own thoughts. Oh, please excuse the background noise. Um, it's hot, windows open. Back to what I was saying. Um, I used to be afraid to be alone with my own thoughts because I over, I, I overthink. I think a lot about everything and nothing and I worry all the time about everything and nothing and it's exhausting and frustrating and I just saw it as something that is just a burden in my life. And I see it as this is just as good as it's gonna get, huh? I'm gonna have to get used to this feeling. And um, I realize little by little that I've, I mean, I have to live this life. This is what I have to face and fight and learn and accept and maybe love one day then I mean I've got to get to it I you know therapy is occasionally a thing um, I take a lot of walks I write I do things to distract myself constantly but I also learn that maybe my distractions are just me covering up for my anxiousness and then the cycle starts all over again and I start to worry 
damn, maybe, maybe I didn't succeed with it as I thought. Damn, here we go again. The depression, the sadness never went away. I mean, I was able to hide it for a couple weeks, maybe a month or two, but uh, now it's all flooding back and back to square one. I just feel defeated. And, you know, it's just have to face it all over again. And I feel like just as long as I make the conscious effort to just keep trying and find another way. What's making you unhappy? Let's make you happy. You know, just you just have to keep trying is my point. And yeah, throughout um, recent time in my life, I decided that maybe it is okay to worry about yourself and it is okay to want to be alone and it is okay to treat yourself as if you were your own lover and I know maybe at first saying that sounds maybe a little off-putting but I mean like I mean, what's so wrong with that? We spend our whole lives trying to find our person, right? I mean, that's a thing. Don't we all worry about that? Is that just another thing I worry about? <laughs> but like, we want to find this ideal person. How do you describe your ideal person? I don't know. Um, other than, hmm, okay, let's see. Ideal person, what do I want in a person? What would I desire? Um, loving, affectionate, passionate, ambitious. Um, confident, not cocky, but confident, sure of themselves. I want them to <clears throat> live life passionately and appreciate the small things, and I know we'll all bump into our dark moments, our hard moments, but I, I just feel like everything that I just described is something that, you know, I should probably be. <laughs> Those are all things that I would like to be, I'd like to see that within myself. I want to be sure of myself, but I guess, can you ever really be too sure? I like so many things. I want to do so many things. I started this life thinking that I would be a vet. Love animals. Absolutely terrified of birds. Love animals. Birds. No, I'm sorry. No, I can appreciate their beauty. I think that they're wonderful and unique and, you know, have their colorful ways, but um, no, I'm sorry. I try, I still will continue to try. It is a goal for me eventually to not be so afraid. Um, okay, I got off track. What was I talking about? Um, what was I talking about? 
I don't remember. I just want to be happy and happy with myself. Oh, I remember now. Okay, dating yourself. Um, being your own lover. I feel like you want to make sure that you look and feel exactly how you want to look and feel. Take care of yourself. Pamper yourself. It's okay to get your nails done or get a haircut or go dye your hair. It's just Or, you know, take yourself out on a date. Dress nice. Make yourself look like the snack that you would love to indulge in. <laughs> and take yourself out. I did that for the first time. Maybe like a month ago. And I am 28. And I've never really taken myself out. I mean, other than like getting to getting my nails done, but I don't really consider that a like, ooh, going on a date. No, I mean like, ooh, I'm going on a date. I'm taking myself out. We're going out on the town. Get ready, gorgeous. I'm showing you off. And it was, it was honestly great. Now, I was very nervous. <clears throat> it's going to some place in some part of the city that I've never been to before and never really heard of um, alone and uh, and I'm gonna do that because I already paid for my ticket and we're, I'm gonna go <laughs> so I I booked myself a date to go see a candlelight performance in a small warehouse in Brooklyn and it was a string quartet and they played uh, different theme songs from different animes and it was beautiful and wonderful and um, <clears throat> sorry starting to boost my voice a little but it was, it was so lovely. I, I just, you could feel how much everyone like loved being there and how we all appreciate the music in our own way. And I have like a special connection. I mean, not in the, I have a special connection. No, like I feel, felt connected to it because <clears throat> I have played violin from 9 to 17 years old and it was a big part of my life. It was a pretty big deal. I Another dream that I had was to uh, play for the string quartet. I mean, not string quartet, the uh, Philharmonic. And I imagined myself performing and playing music, beautiful, classical, clean, crisp music, but together as one big group. It's just so mesmerizing, the different sounds, different melodies, tempos, just all coming together at once, and it just blends just it feels so right I love feeling it I can't really explain but um yeah it was it was great I got myself a drink um on the way there I got a little elevated to help myself feel nice and calm and chill walking in there all alone. <laughs> I was nervous, but I, I played it off well, I think, to myself. You know, I impressed myself. I thought I was cool, so it was a success. 
and uh, I walked around the neighborhood and there was a bunch of uh, graffiti that was pretty dope. Bunch of random shit, bunch of random eyes and cats and I know it makes no sense but I, I'll walk through there one day, I'll show you. And yeah, I liked it. So I, I highly recommend it. I mean ever since then it's all that I really have thought about like how good that felt. I was scared. Not really scared, I would say I was nervous and timid. But I wanted to do this so bad, and I'm glad that I got myself to. I'm glad that I actually committed, and I didn't bail, and I didn't get, I didn't let my anxiety get in the way. I fought that bitch all night, and I feel like I won. And. I have to say, like, that might have been, I don't, there were probably other times, but that might have been, like, the first time that I felt really proud of myself and really accomplished. And I felt like, like my true self. Does that make sense? It's just, I don't know. I have, I don't feel like I've felt like myself for a long time. Or maybe I'm just writing to learn myself. I don't know. But I, I liked how it felt. And I feel a little stronger from that. I am feeling stronger from that. And, uh, yeah. So I, I highly recommend it. I, I'm trying. I'm trying. That's all I can say. That's all that we can keep doing, you know? That's, that's life. Is how you live it. <sighs> yeah. That's all I really wanted to say. I don't really know if there was a, a point to this ramble, but I've also been like smiling the whole time that I've been doing this. So I guess, I guess that, um, <clears throat> I guess it was right. It was meant to be. This is another one of those things that I guess I feel good about. Well, all right. Thanks for listening, if you listened. And yeah. Good night.